Oh, hello again. Um, I was looking at uh, YouTube the other day and I found someone using a uh, double terminated dipole. And um, I've never been a great fan of uh, antennas that have terminating resistors in them. I have very limited experience of them. I've had experience with this one. This one seems to work reasonably well. It belongs to the company that I work for. Let's pan up a bit there. As you can see, it's got these guy wires, and uh, the guy wires have insulators in them um, all the way up the mast there. Um, now this is a, a delta loop antenna. It's one of the uh, there's one of the anchor blocks there. And uh, go over here and have a look at the feed point. This whole thing, I mean, you get it in a big backyard, but it's probably 45 meters from one end to the other. As the uh, there's the feed point there, and you can see that goes out on this side here. There's the uh, there's the insulator there, and you can see how these you can see how these wires are connected here, so that the RF can flow like water. It goes along there and down there to there, and then over to the uh, over to the ballon. You know, it doesn't come up here and go round and round through here. The RF doesn't go round and round through the insulator. I've seen some uh, some installations. Uh, where uh, where radio hams have done that sort of thing and that's not a good idea to do with RF it's always a good idea to let the RF flow like water so just bind it bind the wires like that and there's a there's a spreader that's one of the spreaders and that goes right down to another spreader up there I'll just see if I can zoom in on that other spreader yeah there we go that's about 20 meters away that's another spreader there and then that goes from there, it goes up, you can see those wires. I'm uh, looking at an LCD viewfinder, so I can't see I can't see it very well. If I get that out a bit like that, I hope you can still see those wires. They go up and up and up and up and up and up and up to another spreader up there. And from there, they go up. To the top of the tower and at the top of the tower it's a terminating resistor and of course we've got more um, guy wires down this side as well now because it's a, a delta loop it goes from here the feed point along there to that other spreader down there wherever it's gone there it is then it goes up and again, I can't see the wires right up to the top here. And I'll just stand back a bit actually so you can get a better view of that. That's uh, one of the spreaders on that side of the delta loop. Hopefully, you didn't get a glimpse of the vehicle there. Sun shining in my face as well here. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And there's the there's the terminating resistor at the top of the mast. Now, um, apparently with a uh, double terminated dipole, you lose 30% of the power under some under some circumstances into the re resistors. And I thought, yeah, um, but how how well does it? Radiate the remaining power. You know, does it radiate it reasonably well, or you know, is this thing just a basically a leaky dummy load? And there's the there's the other end of the uh, delta loop there. So you've got another spreader there, and that comes all the way back to here on this side of the mast there, and you've got a similar arrangement on that side as well. So you can see you can see the delta shape. So it goes out, goes along there, to there, then it goes up again, and we've got another one of those big um, big spreaders on this side, and it goes up to the top of the mast. Now I did paste this out, this is about 20 to tw 21 metres. Um, this is the arrangement at this end as well. So you've got the, you've got the two wires, there we go coming in through got a spreader 
going up to this uh, this point here and you can see if I look through the viewfinder you can see how that's arranged you've got another insulator there and then that goes down that goes down to the anchor block there although that goes through there like that there is a ring around that and um, it's not in a knot either it doesn't it's not, not coiled around in it's not coiled around inside the insulator if you see what I mean now this is a uh, this is a 20 meter mast this one here See most of it there going up to the top there. So as I say, if you were really keen and you had a big backyard, you could put one of these in the backyard. This is actually uh, an MVIS antenna, a near vertical incident skywave antenna. So this is for HF comms, um, you know, up to about a thousand Ks. I think these are. And it's because it's terminated in a resistor right at the top there, right up there. It's uh, it's completely flat from sort of 1.5 to about 30 megs right across. So you don't need any kind of matching arrangement. You just connect your radio to it, and away you go. But it'd be interesting to do some experiments to see how efficiently it radiates compared with, say, a tuned wire that might be a bit smaller. Or, uh, or with a mag loop, and uh, you can see there's one of those spreaders there. Let's zoom in on that spreader. There you go. That's one of the spreaders, and uh, we follow that down. That's an insulated uh, guy wire just for the spreader. That goes down to the bottom of the mast there, or well, close to the bottom of the mast. And um, there's there's one on the other side as well that does the same thing. So there's so there's that one there going off up there to that uh, to that spreader, and there's one on the other side there going off to the spreader up there on the other side wherever it's gone. They say looking through an LCD viewfinder on a bright day, this is not very easy to see at all. So I don't know whether I'm getting the spreader in there or not. Um, but anyway, I think uh, I think you get the idea. So that's what a uh, commercial uh, delta loop antenna looks like. As I say, this is a HF um, off-the-shelf commercial antenna. This one's owned by the outfit that I work for. So next time I'm here, I'll bring. Uh, I'll bring my portable ham kit with me and um, maybe a bit of wire and maybe a mag loop and um, just do a couple of quick comparisons maybe with field strength or signal reports yeah, field strength will be better just to see how efficiently this massive antenna well, large antenna radiates uh, compared with the um, uh, much smaller antennas that hams tend to use you know like bits of wire and mag loops and all that sort of stuff it certainly looks impressive um, you know if you wanted to put if you're going to put this in your backyard as I say from there from there from there all the way through here and out there gone to there is about 45 meters and from here up to the top actually this is a pretty small mast as far as commercial masts go this is, this is probably the smallest mast we've got um, is uh, I can't see it now what I can see is me a reflection of me in the LCD screen uh, that's uh, about 20 meters tall so there we go commercial delta loop antenna 
I hope you found that interesting or uh, useful or both. Thank you very much for watching.